हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा योगेश प्रभु दंडोत्त प्रणाम दीप्ति माता जी दंडोत्त प्रणाम दंडोत्त प्रणाम हरे कृष्णा श्रवंती माता जी हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा हाउ आर यू डूइंग माता जी या फाइन फाइन प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा पद्मा माता जी एंड अरविंद प्रभु हरे कृष्णा दंडोत्त प्रणाम हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी दंडोत्त प्रणाम you you are not tired of looking at my face since morning <laughs> again joni <laughs> hare krishna hare krishna krishna chaitanya prabhu dandavat pranam hare krishna see i could recognize you wrote pkc but still i could recognize krishna chaitanya <laughs> hare krishna so you are on mute prabhu ji sorry sorry the pranam prabhu ji i i i didn't realize hari krishna no, that's okay that's okay i said i usually use the short form everywhere even in my meeting notes in my calendar <laughs> <laughs> i'm just there, used to that there is krishna in your name so you should make them read I your name probably yes yes i should at least that way they'll chant hari <laughs> <laughs> krishna how is your daughter hari bol hari krishna how are you hari bol hari bol hari krishna very nice very nice <laughs> nice so we'll get started with some kirtan uh, today i'm planning to sing a kirtan that is sung in vrindavan in the vrindavan iskon temple and uh, in the morning mangal aarti this kirtan is sung actually it's a mangal aarti kirtan but we are singing it uh, to glorify lord krishna hari krishna vijay raghavan prabhu dandavat pranam prabhu ji hari krishna prabhu ji how are you doing prabhu i'm doing fine prabhu ji how about you good good prabhu ji lord krishna's grace yeah so we'll sing this kirtan you all can try to sing it it's a very nice melodious and uh, um, filled with krishna's name places pastimes right when you learn this kirtan and then you go to vrindavan you'll actually amazingly you'll appreciate vrindavan and then you'll also appreciate this kirtan because every place here has got a place in vrindavan right so uh, let's go ahead and sing the kirtan for some time <clears throat> you all can keep on mute and you can also sing let me see i have to change my uh yeah yeah it's written by bhakti no thakur shri bhakti no thakur <clears throat> so please sing at your end i don't know if you're singing or not but i'm requesting you please sing so by singing these names of lord krishna will become conscious to hear bhagavad gita so please do it <clears throat> vibhavari sesha आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठ जीवा विभवारी शेष लोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठ जीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हय ग्रीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय गेवा विभवारी शेष आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठ जीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा नरसिंह वामन श्री मधुसूधन व्रजेन्द्रनंदन श्याम नरसिंह वामन श्री मधुसूधन व्रजेन्द्रनंद श्याम पूतन घातन 
कैता बसातन जय दशरथि राम पुतन घातन कैता बसातन जय दशरथि राम यशोदा दूला गोविंद गोपाल वृंदावना पुरंधारा यशोदा दूला गोविंद गोपाल वृंदावना पुरंधारा गोपी प्रिया जन राधिक रामन भुवन सुंदर बारा गोपी प्रिया जन राधिक रामन भुवन सुंदर बारा रावण ताकर माखन तास्कर गोपी जना वस्त्र रावण ताकर माखन तास्कर गोपी जना वस्त्र खजेर राखल गोपा वृंदा पल चिता हरी बंशी धारी ब्रजेर राखल गोपा वृंदा पल चिता हरी बंशी धारी योगींद्र नंदन श्रीनंदन नंदन ब्रज जना भयारी योगींद्र बंधन श्रीनंद नंदन भय जना भय ज ब्रज जना भय हारी नवीन नीरद रूप मनोहर मोहन वंशी बिहारी नवीन नीरद रूप मनोहर मोहन वंशी बिहारी यशोदा नंदना चमसा निशोधन निकुंज रास विलासी यशोदा नंदना चमसा निशोधन निकुंज रास विलासी कदम्ब कानन रास परायन वृंदा विपिन निवासी कदम्ब कानन रास परायन वृंदा विपिन निवासी आनंद वर्धन प्रेम निकेतन फूल शरा जोजक काम आनंद वर्धन प्रेम निकेतन फूल शरा जोजक काम गोपा गणा घन चिता विनोधन समस्त गुण गण धाम गोपा गणा घन चिता विनोधन समस्त गुण गण धाम जीव जमुना जीवन केली परायन मानस चंद्र चकोरा जमुना जीवन केली परायन मानस चंद्र चकोरा नाम सुधारस गाऊ कृष्णा जस रखो वचन मन मोरा काम सुधारस गाऊ कृष्णा जस रखो वचन मन मोरा विभवरी शेषा आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठो जीवा विभवरी शेषा आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठो जीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 रे हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 रे हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 रे हरे विभवारी शेष आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठ जीवा विभवारी शेष आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी जीव उठ जीवा बोलो हरी हरी मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा बोलो हरी हरी मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हाय ग्रीवा विभवारी शेषा आलोक प्रवेश निद्राचारी उठो जीवा बोलो हरि हरि मुकुंद मुरारी राम कृष्ण हय ग्रीवाय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि गो हरे कृष्ण so someday we all will go to vrindavan and we'll actually visit these places all these places that we are seeing here <laughs> yeah hari bol thank you banu prabhu and sarita mata ji thank you prabhu for joining hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna prabhu ji prabhu ji hare krishna krishna ji hare krishna प्रीति माता जी नरुण प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा दंडवत प्रणाम अरुणा माता जी हरे कृष्णा दंडवत प्रणाम थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग देयर इज सम रीसाउंड आई आई डोंट नो व्हेयर इट इज कमिंग समबडी इज वॉइस इकोइंग महेश्वर प्रभु दंडवत प्रणाम थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग नमस्ते प्रभु जी मंजुला माता जी हरे कृष्णा हां नमस्ते हरे कृष्णा भावना रा माता जी हां भावना प्रभु जी प्रभु जी फादर इज लाम नारो father is uh, okay mataji right now uh. um, how can i say his uh. uh, his is starting to breathe slowly you know by from his nose and uh, mouth i'll say 10% is breathing 10% is breathing from his nose and mouth and uh, 90% is breathing from his uh, this tricostomy that they kept here uh. so it has to at least go to 70 80% from nose and mouth uh. then yeah then they will remove that and uh, right now he is eating from pipe only you know from the nose and uh, yeah so once he starts swallowing when he starts breathing huh. once he starts swallowing then he'll get food from uh, normal mouth which might take months i don't know how long and uh, body right now i'll say right hand is like um, 60% there and uh, right leg is like very weak he is able to move but it's very weak 
like 30 40% he can move left leg is like 10% fight 10% only he is moving he is not moving much left hand he is not at all moving 0% at, at least at this point we are giving him physiotherapy two times in a uh, day on an average you know two times in uh, in a in two day like the physiotherapy is not coming there regularly but uh, we requested two times in a day so it's very slow progress mataji very very slow progress. okay prem yeah okay hare krishna thank you all for joining ramesh prabhu Hare Krishna, Dhanod Pranam, Prabhuji, Kameshwari Mataji, Dhanod Pranam. Yeah, and we have one iPad Prabhu, I don't know whose name is that. That's okay. Animesh Prabhu, Dhanod Pranam, Prabhuji, and Gyan Mataji, Dhanod Pranam. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Dhanod Pranam. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Okay, so did you all like the Kirtan? The Vibhavari Sesha Kirtan? Yeah. Okay. In Vraj, they have crazy yes. kirtans. You know, they, they really sing Krishna and Radha and, you know, they have, we can't enact like them, you know, but uh, do you want to do one more kirtan? Like Vraj kirtan? Yeah. Or should we go to the class? Up to you. Kirtan, Prabhu. Kirtan, we can do. Kirtan, huh? <laughs> kirtan we do. Prabhu. Okay. We'll do one more kirtan. So let me do something very hindi kirtan, right? So you all can easily sing as well. But this Hindi is going to be a lot of Raj Hindi. Right? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to keep it on projection. Wait a second. Yes. Yeah. Wish we could wish we could have done this in person. You know, it is a really lovely kirtan to be done in person. Crazy. You can go crazy for Krishna in this kirtan, right? So what I do, what I'll do is I'll ask you to keep keep yourself on mute, but sing it. Okay, sing it after me. Don't sing with Prabhuji, me. One small thing, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, are you live on YouTube currently? No, I have not kept myself live. On. Should I? Yes, Prabhuji, because uh, we are many people, so on phone it's not working out. Yeah, oh, okay. One minute. One minute. Let me log in then. This will take one second for me to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bhagavad Gita 3.31. Okay. So I'm live now. Yeah, it's preparing to go live, Mataji. Thank you, Prabhu. Yeah, you'll have to go to Leelananda's channel. And you'll see me live there. Yes, Prabhu. Can you see me? Yeah, am I live? Can you see me? Yes, Prabhuji, you're live now. Okay, great. Yeah, Haribo. Yeah. Okay. Done. Okay. So we are going to sing a Braj Bhajan. Okay. Braj Bhajan means, you know, it will be like crazy about Radha and Krishna. Okay. So one line is about Radharani. One line, one line is about Krishna. Okay. One line about Radharani. One line about Krishna. So Radharani is special in this way. Krishna is special in this way. So there is a competition that's going to happen now. Transcendental competition. Okay. So what I request you all is don't sing with me sing the second time when I'm singing, okay? But you all sing. You'll really enjoy this. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so the introductory verse has a different tune and then the following verses have a similar tune. Right? So, like the first verse here, I'll sing it once, you'll know the tune. Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe, Radhe, Jai Radhe, Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Krishna, Jai Krishna, Krishna, Jai Krishna, Jai Shri Krishna. Here, 
when you are singing krishna you are not saying krishna you say kisna kisna you know it's like uh, the braj way of uh, calling you know krishna's name kisna very informal right anyway we are not you're not brajwasis we're not trying to enact them but just that we are singing the bhajan in their tone okay so this verse will keep repeating the verse number 1 will keep repeating after every verse second third fourth you know every time you finish the verse you go and do the first verse again so i'll start with the introductory verse and you can repeat after me not with me as i said right you all can see the bhajan on your screens clearly yes okay नव नव रंगी त्रिभंगी जय श्याम सुअंगी श्यामा एवरीबॉडी नव नव रंगी त्रिभंगी जय श्याम सुअंगी श्या जय राधे जय हरि प्रिय श्री राधे सुख धाम एवरीबॉडी जय राधे जय हरि प्रिय श्री राधे सुख धाम जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे कमॉन जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा श्याम गौरी नित्य किशोरी प्रीतम जोरी श्री राधे श्याम गौरी नित्य किशोरी प्रीतम जोरी श्री राधे रसिका रसीलो शैला चबीलो गुनगर बीलो श्री कृष्णा रसिका रसीलो शैला चबीलो गुनगर भीलो श्री कृष्णा टुगेदर जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा बोलो जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा 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 जय श्री कृष्णा रस विहारिणी रस विशतारिणी प्रिय उधारिणी श्री राधे रस विहारिणी रस विशतारिणी प्रिय उधारिणी श्री राधे नव नव रंगी नवलात्री भंगी श्याम सुअंगी श्री कृष्णा नव नव रंगी नवलात्री भंगे श्याम सुअंगी श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे 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 जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा प्राण पियारी रूप उज्जयारी अति सुकुवारी श्री राधे प्राण पियारी रूप उज्जयारी अति सुकुवारी श्री राधे मैना मनोहर महमोदकर 
सुंदर बर तर श्री कृष्णा मैन मनोहर महमुदकर सुंदर बर तर श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा शोभ सैनी मोभ मैनी कोकिल भैनी श्री राधे एवरीबडी कोकिल राधे कीरतिवंता कामिनी कंता श्री भगवंता श्री कृष्णा कीरतिवंता कामिनी कंता श्री भगवंता श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा चंद बदिनी कुंदर दिनी शोभ सदिनी श्री राधे चंद बदिनी कुंदर दिनी शोभ सदिनी श्री राधे परम उदारा प्रभ अपारा अति सुकुवारा श्री कृष्णा परम उदारा प्रभ अपारा अति सुकुवारा श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा हम सगविनी रजति रविणी क्रीड कविणी श्री राधे हम सगविनी रजति रविणी क्रीड कवनी श्री राधे ऊपर साला नैन विशाला परम कृपाला श्री कृष्णा ऊपर साला नैन विशाला परम कृपाला श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा 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 जय श्री कृष्णा कंचन बेली रति रस रेली अति अल बेली श्री राधे कंचन बेली रति रस रेली अति अल बेली श्री राधे सब सुख सागर सब गुण आगर रूप उजागर श्री कृष्णा सब सुख सागर सब गुण आगर रूप उजागर श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे 
जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा रवणी रम्या तरतरतम्या गुण अगम्या श्री राधे रवणी रम्या तरतरतम्या गुण आगम्या श्री राधे धमनी वासी प्रभ प्रकाशी सहज सुहासी श्री कृष्णा धमनी वासी प्रभ प्रकाशी सहज सुहासी श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा शक्तिहलादिनी अति प्रियवादिनी उर उन माधिनी श्री राधे शक्तिहलादिनी अति प्रियवादिनी उर उन माधिनी श्री राधे अंग अंग तौना सरस सलौना शुभग सुतौना श्री कृष्णा अंग अंग तौना सरस सलौना शुभग सलौना श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा राधना मिने गुना विरामिने हरि प्रिय स्वामिने श्री राधे राधना मिने गुना विरामिने हरि प्रिय स्वामिने श्री राधे हरे हरे हरि हरे हरे हरि हरे हरे हरि श्री कृष्णा एवरीबॉडी हरे हरे हरि हरे हरे हरि हरे हरे हरि श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा एवरीबॉडी जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय राधे जय राधे राधे जय राधे जय श्री राधे जय कृष्णा जय कृष्णा कृष्णा जय कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा नव नव रंगे त्रिभंगी जय श्याम सुवंगी श्या नव नव रंगे त्रिभंगी जय श्याम सुवंगी श्याम जय राधे जय हरि प्रिय श्री राधे सुखदाम 
जय राधे जय हरि प्रिय श्री राधे सुख धाम निताय गौर प्रेमानंद हरि हरि बोल हरि बोल हरे कृष्णा डिड यू ऑल एंजॉय द भजन यस प्रभु जी या दिस इज द भजन प्रभु जी इट्स अ क्रेजी भजन where everybody is singing about radha everybody is singing about krishna everybody is happy in their own way right so i'll tell you first time when i heard this bhajan i met my spiritual master the first time in person when i heard this bhajan so i was in boston and it was my birthday uh, november 23rd and uh, my shiksha guru told me that uh, his holiness radhanath swami maharaj is coming to boston and he is giving a lecture in uh, uh, harvard university and i was like wow harvard university i'll go once you know i was in boston but never went to these places so he was giving a lecture there and uh, so i said okay i'll go so i went to this place i was sitting in this big hall and there comes this sanyasi in orange robes i had read his book journey home i was a big fan of his already and then uh, he came and he started singing this bhajan in harvard can you imagine <laughs> this braj bhajan he was singing in harvard and uh, all the all the deans and professors and you know americans indians you know everybody was sitting and listening to him and he was enjoying the bhajan as if nobody exists in the hall he is singing for himself you know he is completely you know in his own in his own ecstasy that's what many of the sanyasis in iskon do like jay pataka swami maharaj you know bhakti charu maharaj loknath swami maharaj there are so many sanyasis you know they all sing bhajans in their own you know in their own world and they are simply enjoying these bhajans these are braj bhajans you know where the tune is very jolly and you make people dance and people dance and dance and dance throughout the day they'll be dancing singing radha and krishna's names right and the whole bhajan is about you are telling some qualities of radharani and immediately are competing with the qualities of krishna and immediately radharani's qualities are competing so there is a whole competition going on between gopas and gopis right singing uh, the qualities of shri radha and shri krishna and even now when you go to uh, vrindavan uh, in vrindavan nobody calls radha, uh, krishna's name surprisingly when you go to vrindavan you hear radhe radhe right everywhere you get into auto he'll say radhe radhe aaja aaja radhe radhe right like that everywhere you know even when they are driving a rickshaw and somebody comes on the way they don't put the horn horn honk they don't honk they say hey radhe radhe hato hato radhe radhe like that everywhere radhe radhe you'll hear in vrindavan but when you go to barsana barsana is the place where radharani grew up there you hear krishna krishna hey krishna 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 you know like that. <laughs> they say so in barsana everybody is calling krishna's name in vrindavan everybody is calling radha's name so it's always uh, uh you know this mellow of radha krishna which is even today even today's day and time you can see that in braj in the chorasi course the whole area of braj right uh, you often see these mellows i am not from braj unfortunately only most fortunate people take uh, birth in braj and it's uh, you know surrounding villages but we get to but we get to hear uh, such bhajans uh, when you when you visit braj right hare krishna so jai radhe jai radhe radhe jai radhe jai shri radhe jai krishna jai krishna krishna jai krishna jai shri krishna hari bol hare krishna so we'll uh, now we'll do the most boring part which is the bhagavad gita class <laughs> okay ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरो मिलित ये तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतनोभीष्ट स्थित ये नूतले स्वयं कदा मह्यम ददादी स्वदातिक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवा श्री रूपम सागर जाता सह गना रघुनाथ तम सजीव साधूतम 
परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखाता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगत पते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदाबनेश्वरी वृषभाणु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंशा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जाय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे <coughs> ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर नष्ट प्रायु अभद्रेशु नि भगवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंद गोप कुमाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम पंकज नाभाय नम पंकज मलिने नम पंकज नेत्रा नमस्ते पंकजांग्रे नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौर विषय नम नमो ब्राह्मण्याय देवाय गौ ब्राह्मण हिताय च जगदिताय कृष्णाय गोविंदय नमो नम नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वतदेव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातारिणे जाय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे हुकुम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंगायत गिरी यत कृपाता मम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम श्री परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर ओम पवित्रो पवित्रो वा सर्वावस्थम गोपी वा यमरेत पुंडरी काक्ष सभ्याभ्यार सुचे श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण चंद्र प्रभु हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग ममता माता जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी रमेश प्रभु हाउ आर यू हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी ऑल गुड प्रभु जी ऑल वेल हरे कृष्ण देयर आर सम मोर डिवोटीज हु जॉइन यस हरि हरि कृष्ण प्रभु हरे कृष्ण धन्यवाद प्रणाम प्रभु जी थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग Tulsi Mata ji and Raja Ramesh Prabhu Hari bol thank you for joining Padma Mata ji Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna thank you for joining yeah Venkatesh Prabhu Hari bol Hari bol Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Prabhu ji and Mata ji thank you for joining thank you, thank you. Aruna Mata ji Hari Krishna thank you for joining so it's so wonderful Hare Krishna, to have all of you Hare Krishna Prabhu ji to have all of you again you know uh, in these classes i'm really waiting when we will start uh, uh, associating physically again you know coming together but looks like corona is really widely spreading right now yeah. like literally every second person has corona right now <laughs> that's what i heard uh, but anyway it's mild and it's i'm not hearing any big bad news uh, like it's is badly affecting people yes some might be but very less percentage so i'm very happy to see all your family is uh, nicely healthy and recovered So Raja Ramesh Prabhu, how are you doing, Prabhu Ji? Yes, yeah, good, Prabhu Ji. All well. Yes, Prabhu Ji. Hari bol, Hari bol. So you killed Corona again. <laughs> <laughs> Hari 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 Krishna. Yes, yes. So nice. Hari Krishna. Okay. So we will go to Bhagavad Gita, verse chapter three, thirty-one. most probably today we'll finish the third chapter it's a goal so <clears throat> in karma yoga 
now lord krishna is talking about how to engage people in mode of goodness and mode of passion and even in mode of ignorance so now in verse number 31 we read this last week but we'll just read it again so it sets the right context <clears throat> wait a second i'll have some water Please repeat after me. Yeme mantam idam nityam. You can unmute and uh, repeat. I'll start again. Yeme mantam idam nityam. Anustit anutistan ti manava. Anustit anustitan ti manava. Shraddhavanto. Anasuyanto, Anasuyanto, Muchyante te api karma bhi, Muchyante te api karma bhi. Yes. Translation, please repeat after me. Those persons who execute their duties, those persons who execute their duties, according to my injunctions, according to my injunctions, and who follow this teachings faithfully, and who follow this teachings faithfully. Without envy, without envy, become free from, from the bondage of fruitive actions. Yeah, so Lord Krishna is kind of in the last stage of Karma Yuga explanation, whereby, you know, he is explaining that uh, there are different kinds of people. You should not stop people because they are in Tamoguna. They should also do, but we should engage them, slowly engage them, right? You should not stop people from acting like, you know, Stop this, stop that, stop that. You can't do that. So there are people in mode of goodness, passion, and ignorance. So everybody has to be engaged in Krishna conscious activities. Now here, Lord Krishna is saying people in mode of goodness who are following his duty, you know, performing the duties according to the injunctions of Shastra, that is according to the principles of Bhagavad Gita, they become free from fruitative results, you know, fruitative actions and results, meaning they'll get, they'll do action, they'll get a reaction. That and all will not happen. They'll become free of it. They will not do anything material going forward, right? So in purport, we'll just read it again. We read it last week, but I'm just reading it again. The injunction of the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna is the essence of all Vedic wisdom and therefore is eternally true without exception. As the Vedas are eternal, so this truth of Krishna consciousness is also eternal. One should have firm faith in this injunction without envying the Lord. There are many philosophers who write comments on the Bhagavad Gita, but have no faith in Krishna. They will never be liberated from the bondage of fruitative action. But an ordinary man with firm faith in the eternal injunctions of the Lord, even though unable to execute such orders, becomes liberated from the bondage of the law of karma. In the beginning of Krishna consciousness, one may not fully discharge the injunctions of the Lord. But because one is not resentful of this principle and works sincerely without consideration of defeat and hopelessness, he will surely be promoted to the stage of pure Krishna consciousness. So here Lord Krishna is explaining very clearly that the people who are following his injunctions will surely achieve Krishna consciousness at a certain time, right? And we should not give up. We should have a lot of patience. When we are dealing with ourselves, there will be so many habits, qualities, perspectives, conclusions, which are not pure right now, but they will get purified, provided we are following the principles of Krishna consciousness, right? Now we'll go to the next verse, uh, 3.32. Please repeat after me. Yatve etad abhyasuyanto. You can unmute and repeat. I'll, I'll start again. Yatve etad abhyasuyanto. Yatve etad abhyasuyanto. Nanu tushtanti me matam. Nanu tishthanti me matam. Nanu tishthanti me matam. Sarvagyana Vimudham Stan Sarvagyana Vimudham Stan Sarvagyana Vimudham Stan Sarvagyana Vimudham Stan Within Ashtan Achetasa Within Ashtan Achetasa Within Ashtan Achetasa Within Ashtan Achetasa Please repeat after me. Translation, Purpose Based Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vyansa Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. But those who, out of envy, 
disregard these teachings disregard these teachings and do not follow them regularly do not follow them regularly are to be considered considered to be considered bereft of all knowledge bereft of all knowledge befooled and ruined in their endeavors for perfection okay so lord krishna is telling the importance of uh, the teachings okay the importance of teachings is being uh, specifically told by krishna that the people who don't follow it what are they what is going to happen with them they will be bereft of knowledge they will not have the right knowledge to lead a life next they'll be befooled befooled means a fool is somebody who does activities which don't have any result resultless game you know aimless goalless activities so they are befooled for life people who have taken a human birth but they don't know how human birth is special as compared to animal birth they don't know they're just leading their life they're earning earning recognition recognition you know everything they are getting but they are befooled you know because they don't have the right spiritual knowledge and reowned in their endeavors for perfection even though they are endeavoring for perfection meaning some of them go to temples some of them even take up services but when it comes to learning bhagavad gita they'll run away they'll never want to learn teachings from god okay bhagavantuda nu chaala manchi vaadu ikka nor mosku right you are so great god but you shut your mouth because i don't want to listen what you are going to tell i am happy being a devotee i'll come to temple i'll do my part but you better don't speak and even if you speak i'll not listen and i don't want to listen from any devotee i don't want to read any scripture but i'll go to temple every day so such people also their endeavors will not get any perfection meaning even though they want to uh, become god conscious they will never become god conscious have you seen such people all these three categories prajan mathaj is you can see in open society many of them right i'm we are not trying to find faults in others we are also learning here but when when supreme lord is speaking you know he knows that all these categories of people exist krishna knows you don't have to tell krishna hey krishna my neighbor is like that you don't have to tell that <laughs> krishna already knows your neighbor and more than your neighbor krishna knows you also how much you are fooling yourself or how much you are actually utilizing your human birth krishna knows we can't cheat krishna we can't pretend to be a devotee if you are not a devotee krishna will know that you are not a devotee okay so here is very important to understand that everybody should be taught spiritual knowledge teachings are very very important our children you know our neighbors brothers sisters parents ourselves first ourselves then others have to learn bhagavad gita and have to follow a life on the principles of bhagavad gita right okay now let's read the purport the flaw of not being krishna conscious is clearly stated here as there is punishment for disobedience to the order of the supreme executive head so there is certainly punishment for disobedience to the order of supreme personality of god it a disobedient person however a disobedient person however uh, great he may be is ignorant of his own self and the supreme brahman parmatma and the personality of god it due to vacant heart therefore there is no hope of perfection of life for him okay now one of the important things you can see here uh is it mentioned what way people will be punished if they are not god conscious prabhu ji no prabhu ji it is not mentioned right nothing like that you say what krishna is telling here bhaiya you know follow my teachings so he'll come back to me if you don't follow then you will remain ignorant that's all he is saying right uh, in our sanatan dharma which is the highest uh, you know spiritual knowledge on the planet and actually the not competitive with anything because this is the word of god it's not written by any human here we are not propagating that if you are not becoming a sanatan dharma we should kill you or we should destroy your uh, temples of worship we should destroy you nothing like that is being propagated in fact even within sanatan dharma we are allowing people to be atheists if you want to be atheist be atheist no problem what will happen if you are atheist see what is the what is the worst thing that can happen if you are atheist anybody on the call what is the worst thing that can happen if you are atheist taking birth again and again exactly you will take birth in gachipoli again right and then you will have house in mayam avatar or some other place right or you will have a villa or you will have some big uh, you know uh, mansion 
and you will have two cars you will have a good wife good children you will have a good job a horrible boss you will struggle you know work like a dog you know day after day you learn money then you'll have grandchildren then you'll clear your home loan then you'll clear your car loan then again you will die <laughs> that's what will happen is there a good thing or a bad thing i'll say foolish thing isn't it hai ki nahi kitne baar karoge bhaiya how many of you knew how many of you remember that you already had ambassador in last life <laughs> ambassador car you all had ambassador car in last life and some devotee was shouting outside your house are bhaiya chant become krishna conscious do your rounds no 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 i don't have time i have so much government work i have this work that work what happened now you are taken birth again you have a hyundai car or some other car now right now if you don't listen you will come back and next time you will have electric car this will go on you know generation after generation this will go on you will keep taking birth again and again but a krishna conscious devotee we want to stop this cycle say hey, what what am i doing krishna what am i doing in this planet taking birth again and again Go, going to school again and again doing the same homework again and again you know getting beaten up by teachers again and again then getting beaten up by boss again and again then getting beaten up by wife or husband or children again and again right so many problems again and again why do i want to get into all this as it so he will not get into any activity uh, which is not krishna conscious he will try to be very focused in his life right but a non krishna conscious devotee will get into birth again see see we don't say that go to hell if you are not following uh, what is that christians they they preach you know they pre- if you don't uh, you know surrender to jesus you'll go to hell you're born in hell eternally like that we don't speak that nonsense we are very sanatan dharma accommodates everybody whether in tamoguna rajoguna satoguna yeah you'll take birth again you can keep continuing and if you do some bad activities you may even take birth in animal kingdom or you might take birth in lower planets or higher planets so there is a provision for everybody to continue according to our choice god is not somebody who punishes we are the ones who are punishing ourselves understood sanatan dharma never says god will punish sanatan dharma says we are the ones who are punishing ourselves by continuing this cycle of birth and death right like uh, islamic scripture you know they say you are kafir if you are not surrendering to allah ya ila allah you know you, uh, you if you are not surrendering to uh, you know allah then you are a, uh, what do you call that uh, you are a kafir you are a, somebody who has uh, gone against god so you all have to be killed all your uh, temples were deities are worshiped have to be broken that's all that's all very fanatic and very narrow minded religion unfortunately but sanatan dharma is not like that sometimes we cannot compare the three because one is talking about being accommodative and inclusive and other one is just trying to be exclusive and fanatic right i'm not saying every muslim or every christian thinks like that but unfortunately some forces are making them think like that and creating a division in human society whereas human society is the same you know for you vasudeva kutumbam we are all children of krishna everybody whether muslim christian zoroastrian believe it or not non believers and believers both of them are children of krishna only right whether you believe in god also whether you not believe in god also still you are a child of god that is how we understand right so here it is being told that people who don't go through the teachings of krishna will be ignorant they'll just remain ignorant they'll keep continuing their you know uh, cycle of uh, birth and death right so any questions here prabhujan mata ji okay we are good hari bol hari krishna so next now lord krishna see one thing lord krishna is telling again and again to arjuna is you have to act you cannot sit there and say i will not act you cannot sit there and say i'll become a sadhu you cannot sit there and say that uh, i have pardoned i have forgiven these people so i'll not act no that is not allowed and lord krishna is not only telling to act for the people in the mode of goodness even for the people in the mode of ignorance tamoguna or rajoguna passion they also have to act because they have been given a nature right see we have been given a nature and if you just execute that nature we'll get purified so krishna has krishna knows better what nature we should get whether we should be a brahmana kind of nature or a shudra kind of nature or a kshatriya kind of nature or a whatever the right nature that we need is given by krishna and we should act according to that nature and just by acting according to that nature you will get purified all the things will happen in your life say if you have a nature of a 
you know administrator and a warrior and a king so krishna will give you that kind of nature that kind of body and that kind of mode of nature will influence you and you will eventually you know perform those activities in those lines and get purified you will become purified that way right uh, like uh, all the people who fought the battle of kurukshetra they all got purified they all were kshatriyas ultimately they all went back home back to god so whatever our nature is we should act according to that nature and that nature is given by krishna this is the topic that krishna will end karma yoga with the coming verses will be mostly dealing with this right so uh, please repeat after me 3.33 sadrusham chesh chestate swasya sadrusham chestate sadrusham chestate swasya sadrusham chestate swasya sadrusham chestate swasya prakrute gyanavan api prakrute gyanavan api prakrute gyanavan api prakrute gyanavan api prakritim yanti bhutani prakritim yanti bhutani prakritim yanti bhutani prakritim yanti yanti bhutani nigraha kim karishyati निग्रह किम करिष्यति निग्रह किम करिष्यति ट्रांसलेशन प्लीज रिपीट आफ्टर मी इवन ए मैन ऑफ नॉलेज इवन ए मैन ए मैन ऑफ नॉलेज एक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन नेचर एक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज ओन नेचर पर एवरीवन फॉलोस द नेचर एवरीवन फॉलोस द नेचर ही इज एक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम द थ्री मोड्स What can repression accomplish? What can rep- what can repression accomplish? Right? So Lord Krishna is telling that don't try to repress yourself. Don't try to you know shackle yourself. That you know I'm not going to do anything now. You know I'm going to stay calm. I'm I'm not going to uh, you know behave like this. I mean I'm just going to ask a sincere mm-hmm. question to most of you, Prabhu and Matijis. You know when there is a fight between husband and wife. I mean I'm sure every house has its own version, but suddenly the husband says you punish and you put it in my abhisa abhisa karunga na yesa i'll not do that have you ever achieved that huh? or wife says that yes. no tomorrow onwards i'll not do this no i'll not do enough is enough it's pura zindagi i'll not do have you ever wife you achieved that never never, never. it's not possible you know donkey is a donkey monkey is a monkey you cannot <laughs> donkey cannot become monkey monkey cannot become donkey whatever we are we are you can't help it that's your nature some people are extrovert some people are introverts you go and put a introvert in a grinder you know full pisao him and still open he'll be introvert only you move him like anything he still he'll be introvert he'll not speak expressionless he'll be like that only you can't do anything you have to deal with it and the extrovert no matter how many plasters you put on his mouth he will speak way which or way he'll speak he'll continue to speak right so you can't change the nature of people is what is what krishna is saying so you have a nature don't try to repress yourself saying that oh, i will not do this i will not do that no you will do something so for example you know i was uh, i was speaking to uh, ramesh prabhu if i have to quote prabhu ji please don't mistake me prabhu ji is the administrator you know uh, if i have to i'm not judging anybody but i see him as somebody like a leader you know i'm talking ramesh ramesh prabhu kameshwari mathe's husband right so he is like you know he wants to get things done this that that this this so he is in a he was in a role in the temple getting things done right now you can't make such a person stay calm <laughs> he can't stay calm because he has in him you know some people have it in them that they will go forward and they'll do things so i was telling prabhu ji please continue to do what you're doing no matter what happens you know around just keep doing what you're doing because that, that's something that krishna has given you right Uh, some people play leadership roles and they have to play leadership roles if they are not playing leadership roles then the society cannot be properly managed right and uh, some uh, matajis have some leadership roles matajis also have varnas right uh, some mataji is a kshatriya some mataji is a vaishya some mataji is a shudra some mataji is a brahmana you have to along with being a mother you also have to do those uh, varna related activities then only you will be happy you cannot suppress it you cannot say that you know oh you have to sit at home and just take care of your children no 
if you have a varna of a kshatriya then you have to be a manager within the home also you can be a manager within the family also you can be a manager and in the family business you can be a manager right or you can be a kshatriya you can be a vaishya and so is prabhu ji you know it's not about just doing the work outside it's also about the work that you do inside that varna is something that you have to recognize in yourself you all have to put some effort and recognize that varna and as lord krishna is saying don't repress that varna instead express that varna right properly uh, execute use that varna in service of krishna right did everybody understand any questions here okay so i'll go to the purport yeah purport please focus as i read the purport unless one is situated on the transcendental platform of krishna platform of krishna consciousness he cannot get free from the influence of the modes of mental nature as it is confirmed by the lord in the 7th chapter 7.14 therefore even for the most highly educated person on the mundane platform it is impossible to get out of the entanglement of maya simply by theoretical knowledge or by separating the soul from the body there are many so called spiritualists who outwardly pose as advanced in the science but inwardly or privately are completely under particular mode of nature which they are unable to suppress academically one may be very learned but because of his long association with material nature he is in the bondage krishna consciousness helps one to get out of the material entanglement even though one may be engaged in the prescribed duties in the terms of the material existence therefore without being fully krishna conscious one should not give up the occupational duties one should not suddenly give up his prescribed duties and become so called yogi or transcendentalist artificially it is better to be situated in one's position and try to do try to attain krishna consciousness under superior training thus one may be freed from the clutches of krishna's maya right here prabhupad is very clearly explaining that don't try to change what you are doing try to give a meaning to it by thinking why you are doing right why you are doing is is something that you should be very very clear about Uh, i'm doing this to please krishna i'm doing this to please you know take care of my family so that all my family will become devotees bring krishna in the center of all your activities but don't stop doing activities right if you stop doing activities you cannot be happy you have to do for example uh, you know me and my wife used to like to go on go on trips lot of trips you know uh, we would never leave a weekend uh, you know uh, empty even before we were krishna conscious we would just take you know i used to have a kinetic bike and she would sit down and we go around hyderabad or we'll go around some new place some new place something will discover some corner will go get into trouble whatever we'll do but we'll never stay at home weekend means we'll go out right now after becoming krishna what to do can i change that nature within us we cannot change that nature now what to do now we are going to devotees houses now we are going to temples now we are going to different holy places now we are going and, and along with many others we are going around right so what did we do we just changed our what we are doing you know sorry why we are doing is to please krishna but we are continuing to do what we are doing right bringing krishna into our activities i'm just giving an example of my own example and you all also will have similar example like some people somebody likes to speak somebody is a very good orator a motivational speaker you can speak about krishna become a become a person who can share the vedic knowledge you are a leader in your office everybody listens to you you know how to engage people when you are speaking so why don't you utilize that skill to speak about bhagavad gita right whatever you are learning on a weekly basis you can go and teach others uh, preacher doesn't have to be you know uh, preacher is a word uh, you know taken very negatively but pre- what does preacher do preacher just shares what he is getting so when you are getting spiritual knowledge you share that knowledge to others so you are a preacher of krishna there is no other special qualification needed the only thing is that you have to repeat the knowledge as it is without doing any khichdi or you know adding your own uh, uh, you know uh, examples with i mean unrelated examples you can add you can subtract but it should be the the fundamental should not change so you can utilize your speaking skills in service of krishna instead of saying i am speaking too much i'll i'll shut my mouth you know there are some institutions there are some institutions so called spiritual institutions which will tell okay go to that place don't speak for four days 
<laughs> they say that you, know, you are speaking too much you should control your speech then only you can control your mind there are actually people who follow such institutions they go to there and they sit there for four days they will not speak anything tell me what is more beneficial not speaking anything or speaking about krishna huh? what will purify you what will purify you is actually speaking about krishna right instead of saying that i will not speak because what will happen eventually you will not speak for those four days then on the fifth day you will do you will you will speak for all the five days on the single day <laughs> say simply you will blabber you know everything that you wanted to say you will go ahead and speak so instead of saying don't sing for example you know uh, somebody likes material songs right i like material songs you know mohammad rafi kishor kumar you know big fan mukesh i have big big you know series of cassettes i like music Uh, and i like singing music i like singing all those songs some passionate songs you know some this thing that thing i used to do all that as a college boy you know as in the in the office before going to coming to krishna kanya i used to do all that now will you ask me to suppress sing <laughs> prabhu ji aisa gaega to ganda hai mu band karo or you will tell sing some bhajans what is better singing bhajans or shutting your mouth singing bhajan right so that is a better thing to do so that is what is krishna consciousness all about don't try to repress your nature try to express your nature keeping krishna in the center right when you are totally advanced in krishna consciousness automatically you will become silent you will understand what's going on you can see the whole material world for what it truly is right and your desire to go to going to spiritual world will automatically increase you know uh, that don't let it naturally happen we don't have to like for example at very advanced sadhus they are very calm very calm very calm by nature because now they are at a stage where they can see what is beneficial what is not beneficial whom to talk to whom not to talk to what is the most important thing to do in life they all have that idea but we you know in the initial stages cannot become calm like them and don't try to artificially endeavor and try to become like them you know come to satsang and like as if you are a great sadhu and you are come to completely control your senses as soon as you go out of god said satsang you are going everywhere <laughs> so don't try to artificially impose something that you are not are you understanding what i'm saying whatever your nature is engage that nature in krishna conscious activities and whatever krishna has to make out of you he will anyway make hmm? okay so let's go further Yeah. 3.34. Repeat after me. Indriyasya indriyasya arthe. Indriyasya indriyasya arthe. Indriyasya indriyasya arthe. Indriyasya indriyasya arthe. Raga dvesha vyavasthita. Raga dvesha vyavasthita. Raga dvesha vyavasthita. परिपति One should not come under the control. Control. One should not come under the control of such attachment, of such attachment and aversion, and aversion, and aversion, because they are stumbling blocks. Because they are stumbling blocks on the path of self-realization. On the path of self-realization. Right. So here, there are principles to regulate attachment and aversion pertaining to the senses and their objects. one should not come under the control of such attachment and aversion because they are stumbling blocks in the path of self realization here lord krishna is telling that uh, you should not perform those abominable activities which will deteriorate your spiritual life but how do you control them by regulation you can control them you have to regulate your activities you know you have to put some plan 
you have to put some principles saying that i'll do this i'll not do this henceforth i will not do this these things are very regulation rather than rejection right regulated we don't stop eating food we start eating prashadam right instead of saying uh, eat less say eat prashadam and regulate eating right eat only sometimes in a day something like that regulation is very important spiritual life okay let's read this purport those who are in krishna consciousness are naturally reluctant to engage in material sense gratification please focus as i'm reading it very important those who are in krishna consciousness are naturally reluctant to engage in material sense gratification but those who are in such consciousness should follow the rules and regulations of revealed scriptures unrestricted sense enjoyment is the cause of material engagement but one who follows the rules and regulations of the revealed scriptures does not become entangled by the sense objects for example sex enjoyment is a necessity for the condition soul and sex enjoyment is allowed under the license of marriage ties according to the scriptural injunctions one is forbidden to engage in sex relationships with any woman other than one's wife all other women are to be considered as one's mother but in spite of such injunctions a man is still inclined to have sex relations with other women these propensities are to be curbed otherwise they will be stumbling blocks on the path of self realization as long as the material body is there the necessities for the material body are allowed but under the rules and regulations and yet we should not rely upon the control of such allowance one has to follow those rules and regulations and attached to them because practice of sense gratification under regulations may also lead one to go astray as much as there is always a chance of an accident even on the royal roads although they may be very carefully maintained no one can guarantee that there will be no danger even on the safest road the sense enjoyment spirit has been current at a very has been current a very long long time owing to material association therefore in spite of regulated sense enjoyment there is every chance of falling down therefore any attachment for regulated sense enjoyment must also be avoided by all means but attachment to krishna consciousness or acting always in the loving service of krishna detaches one from all kinds of sensory activities therefore no one should try should try to be detached from krishna consciousness at any stage of life the whole purpose of detachment from all kinds of sense attachment is ultimately to become situated on the platform of krishna consciousness hare krishna so very beautifully prabhupada is explaining uh, the spirit behind these verses right so here provision mathe try to understand see uh, for example let's take an example eating like we all like to eat who doesn't like to eat everybody likes to eat right now uh, people eat vegetarian people eat non vegetarian people eat you know different different things whatever they wish to eat sweets milk water whatever is needed they like to eat now somebody uh, you cannot say reduce eating directly you know you cannot tell people reduce eating right that people do not follow even if they follow it's only temporary actually for a spiritual person uh, for a proper yogi you know for a proper uh, fixed highly advanced devotee uh, he should only eat once in a day simple that's what your real nourishment your body needs but you can't come and tell me that you know prabhu you eat once in a day nobody will come to satsang <laughs> if i say that <laughs> what is this you know you you're telling me to eat once in a day but that once in a day consciousness will come automatically when you get detached from sense enjoyment and when you are more focused on spiritual consciousness right it can't be it can't be artificially um it can't be artificially imposed are you all following what i'm saying it can't be artificially pushed saying eat once in a day so what you have to do is start with regulated meaning you say that okay eat three times in a day don't keep eating all the time eat three times in a day you can have breakfast you can have a lunch a late lunch maybe and a early dinner these three things you can do right eat at least you know like that and then next regulation is you know uh, don't eat things which will harm others and harm yourself like non vegetarian eggs and don't eat things which will increase tamaguna in you 
which will induce tamaguna like uh, onion garlic mushrooms they increase tamaguna in you for people who want to practice spiritual life they are not very favorable things to eat i am not saying they cannot be eaten they can be eaten but they are not favorable right they will keep bringing you down in a consciousness so so you put some regulations right now somebody said okay you know what i think prabhu i am following the regulations I, i can eat now that is also a problem you know what what prabhu is explaining here even attachment to regulatory eating is a problem actually because the goal is what goal is to decrease eating so you have to develop krishna consciousness so that eventually your attachment to food is completely removed and you are eating only for health only for health only for keeping a body upkeep that's it you're not really enjoying what you're eating or you're not uh, too much focusing on bodily enjoyment through eating so there are three steps probably you know one is knowing what you are doing second is regulating what you are doing and third is correcting what you are doing completely right so this is a gradual process in krishna consciousness you can't really stop people from what they are doing did you all follow what we have discussed hmm any any questions this this audience is very nice you know they don't ask any questions <laughs> we can we can discuss you know a little because i sometimes i wonder are you are you hearing or because if you are hearing you should get questions no okay i'll keep no prabhuji it is very clear the message no, is very it is very clear, clear prabhuji no. yeah. okay then i'll do a thing i'll confuse you a little then you'll ask questions <laughs> <laughs> trying to be too clear is too boring <laughs> okay <laughs> are krishna okay let's keep going first next next verse hari bol yeah 3.35 श्रेयं स्वधर्मो विगुना श्रेयं स्वधर्मो विगुना श्रेयं स्वधर्मो विगुना श्रेयं स्वधर्मो विगुना पर परधर्मात् स्वी अनुष्ठितात् परधर्मात् स्वी अनुष्ठितात् परधर्मात् स्वी अनुष्ठितात् स्वधर्मे निधनम श्रेया स्वधर्मे निधनम श्रेया स्वधर्मे निधनम श्रेया परधर्मो भयावय भयावह परधर्मो भयावह परधर्मो भयावह परधर्मो भयावह या so repeat after me translation it is far better to discharge one's prescribed duties it is far better to discharge one's prescribed duties even though faultily even though faultily than another's duties perfectly than another's duties perfectly destruction in the course of performing performing destruction in the course of performing one's own duty one's own duty is better than engaging is better than engaging in another's duties in another's duties for to follow another's path is dangerous for to follow another's path is dangerous so krishna is still that according to your nature you have a prescribed duty rakshudra vaishya bharmana or a mix of some of these you know so understand your nature and perform your duties according to that you trying to perform somebody else's duties is very dangerous why dangerous because you will not first of all perform them for a long time because it's not your nature right it's not your nature to do those and uh, you will not achieve your goal of life trying to pretend some somebody that you are not you cannot continue for too long and you will actually not achieve any result out of it right let's read the purport ah uh, one should therefore discharge his prescribed duties in full krishna consciousness rather than those prescribed for others materially prescribed duties materially prescribed duties are duties enjoined according to one psychological condition under the spell of the modes of material nature spiritual duties are as ordered by the spiritual master for the transcendental service of krishna 
but whether material or spiritual one should stick to his prescribed duties even to even up to death rather than imitate others prescribed duties duties on the spiritual platform and duties on the material platform may be different but the principle of following the authorized direction is always good for the performer when one is under the spell of the mode of material nature one should follow the prescribed rules for his particular situation and should not imitate others for example a brahmana who is in the mode of goodness is non violent whereas a kshatriya is in the mode of passion and is allowed to be violent as such for a kshatriya it is better to be vanquished following the rules of violence rather than to imitate a brahmana who follows the principles of non violence everyone has to has to cleanse his heart uh, cleanse his heart Uh, by a gradual process not abruptly however even one transcends when however when one transcends the modes of material nature and is fully situated in krishna consciousness he can perform anything and everything under the direction of a bona fide spiritual master in that uh, in that complete stage of krishna consciousness the kshatriya may act as a brahmana or a brahmana may act as a kshatriya in the transcendental stage the distinctions of the material world do not apply for example vishwamitra was originally a kshatriya but later on he acted as a brahmana whereas parashurama was a brahmana but later on he acted as a kshatriya being transcendentally situated they could do so but as long as one is on the material platform he must perform his duties according to the modes of material nature at the same time he must have full sense of krishna consciousness right so prabhuji and mataji is here uh, lord krishna is very clearly explaining that you should act according to your nature why is he sp- saying it so so many times again and again because who gave you that nature krishna only gave you that nature according to your priorities perspectives or conclusions he gave you that nature and he also planned that according to this nature i am giving these activities for him and he performs that he'll get purified whereas if you try to suddenly get inspired for somebody else's nature then you cannot achieve what you are planned for you cannot achieve what you because krishna planned for you like that right see for example non violence non violence means i will not hurt others i will not physically abuse anybody i will not raise my hand on anybody right so that is a principle principle of non violence is there right uh, that it should not be done uh, violence meaning even physical mental whatever principle of non violence is agreeable uh, you know ahimsa paramo dharma that is there but at the same time when there is a need you should pick up your hand that is also there that is also dharma so there are some people who have to pick up their hands there are some people who will not pick up their hand right but you cannot go and suppress everybody that you know don't pick up your hand non violence is our movement that is also nonsense that is not the way it works some people understand only when some some activities are done everybody doesn't understand by when you say right in telugu lo antaru you know gaadidi ki kattane kavale barra kattane kavale manishi ki maata chalu you know for a, for a man you can by by speaking word he should understand but animal needs a stick you can't talk to animal saying that okay sit down get up and it will do like that you know maybe some dog does but most of the animals don't when in, when you come in front of a tiger you can't talk to a tiger either you have to run or shoot it simple <laughs> isn't it you can't sit there and say ahimso parama dharma no it will not work like that so everybody has a nature and you have to use that nature according to time place and circumstance you cannot be somebody else in all circumstances you have to know your nature and according to that you should act on it for example if your husband is very aggressive in what he is doing his nature is like that so he should take up a profession where he can use that aggression for the right cause doesn't mean it's a license to be aggressive all the time right you should you should you have that nature utilize that nature at a certain time right at the same time if somebody is being aggressive you cannot go and tell him hey being aggressive is bad are he has the capacity and the nature to be like that so he is going to be like that the only thing is that for what is being aggressive for what is being aggressive that is very important so not acting to according to your nature when there is a need also is violence 
like arjuna choosing not to do war is more violence than he doing the war he is a kshatriya he is a right person to punish the opposite uh, uh, you know uh, kings and he is chosen by krishna to do that and now he is saying that i will become a brahmana i will go and do some bhajan what is the i will become a gyani i will not do my kshatriya dharma that is more violence right in simple words you know children army army jab pal example children are okay yeah so children uh, they have to listen to their parents right but some children are notorious now does it mean that uh, you will allow the children to do what they are doing and say that ahim so parama dharma you know <laughs> my father or a mother you know i will not uh, i should not raise my hand raise my voice and do anything no it doesn't worry as you are a parent you are a parent and a parent has a responsibility of correcting his child if you don't correct your child then police will correct your child one day you want the police to do it or you want to do it you have to do it but i'm not saying that's a license to you know beat up your children all the time but when there is a need you have to raise that hand there is nothing wrong you have to raise that word there is nothing wrong but you should understand and the child also has to understand that my father is raising hand because i have done something wrong my father is raising his voice because i have done something wrong and i have to understand that and take that as a correction and that applies even when you are 20 year old or 25 year old also your parent will correct you until you are there your guru will correct you until you are there vyasa dev think about vyasa the great vyasa was written all the vedas he is being corrected by narad muni his spiritual master after he finished writing vedas so is that insulting vedas is that insulting vyasdev no it's not insulting he is doing his job narada is correcting vyasdev that hey you have written all the vedas but where is bhagavatam where is the sweetness of god where is it captured so guru can correct his disciple even till the end stage parashurama chose to do a war with bhishma isn't it violence what a guru said if you are not going to follow my order then take your weapon we have to do a war when uh, that amba came to marry bhishma bhishma said i am not going to marry amba went to uh, parashurama she persuaded him so even a war was needed a war was done they both had blood on their bodies and finally he got defeated by bhishma i mean chose to be defeated by bhishma rather to glorify bhishma and then he said okay you know bhishma you can do what you want to do so provision mathi we should understand the meaning of word violence we should understand the meaning of the lot of these things that we have created an impression by media that uh, bad good everything everything has to be what varna you have what is your nature and what is the role that you are playing right the role you are playing is very very important as a parent especially as a parent the biggest role that we have is first of all we becoming krishna conscious and teaching krishna conscious to our children you won't believe provision mataji there is so much arrogance and impatience in children today impatience so much arrogance and it has to be corrected who is going to correct it you have to correct it otherwise they will not be successful in life you have to teach your children to be respectful you have to teach your children to be patient i'll tell you a simple example you know uh, not that i'm trying to find fault in anyone i'm just trying to tell an example you know i was dropping my son to school right when i was in avatar i was dropping my son to school his school is in gachiboli prerna prerna world of school so his classmate lives in uh, hallmark right so he told me nana whenever you are dropping me can you drop my uh, friend also I said okay no problem i can drop your friend so his school, their school starts at 8:15 right so we should at least be at the school by 8 85 at least i want to keep the 10 minute buffer so at what time i have to start from avatar i have to start around 750 at least you know because nanakaram kuda junction you don't know you know it can be free one day it can be crowded one day but generally at 7 8 o'clock in the morning it's not crowded so 10 minutes is a buffer time so which means i work back that you know i should start my car at 750 so i should leave from my house at 740 right it is 10 minutes waiting for the lift to come and then i go down start my car go to hallmark pick up this kid along with my son and then drop them in their school 
So this is the planning, right? So it so happened that you know we went at 7:40. My kid is sit, my my son is sitting. I went in front of Hallmark. It's already 7:50, and the child is not coming out. You know, I asked, "Hey, Par, did you tell your friend that it's time he should come? Because we all will get late to the school." My son said, "Papa, but don't worry, he'll come." So he came, but he came at 7:55. You know, so five minutes of buffer, whatever I kept is already gone. So by the time I reached school, it was almost 8:10, right? So five minutes before the school started, I have dropped them. Job is done. Okay, I said, okay, fine. Then next day, again, you know, when I went to Hallmark, again he did not come till 7:55, and this time it went to 8. You know, I'm sitting with my son in the car. I'm like, hey, did you tell your friend that he should come on time? You know, because it will delay. He said, "No, nah, I told Papa. I told my my son is getting worried that I'll scold his friend also. <laughs> so you know, I'm, I'm I'm keeping calm. I shouldn't scold anybody. It's the son, but I should keep calm. You know, whatever it is. So when he came at eight o'clock, then I just looked at him and said, 'Beta, uh, come on time because we both will get delayed. Everybody will get delayed. That's all I told. I didn't say anything more. Next day, the child is not coming." I asked my son, "What happened to your friend?" No, he told he his parents will drop him. Uh, he told that he has taken care of his parents. I was shocked. You know, I mean, are you getting what I'm trying to tell? A small correction, small correction, advice that you know, please come on time because we both will get delayed. Was also not acceptable for a 15 year old boy. small correction from elder i'm i'm elder you know i'm his friend's father small correction you know i'm not talking greek and latin provision mathages don't think these kids jumping around and you know cycling around in our community are you know humble noble and uh, patient it's just a matter of you talking to them because they are not being trained to be patient they are not being trained to be respectful they're not being trained to be uh, humble they're not being trained and how do you train them to be humble patient and uh, respectful by your behavior first as a parent and second by telling them from stories from mahabharat bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrit all these stories are there to teach them the values how many of these children are exposed to such kind of teachings provision mathages and how many of the parents are patient our parents are fighting like cats and dogs election time non election time <laughs> you know i saw people beating up each other on you know in front of the central park two educated fellows with their children beside them uh, people are impatient the other day you know i went for uh, getting booster vaccine for my mother and uh, one gentleman old fellow you know he must be like around 78 or 80 years old my father's age he started shouting at uh, you know the hospital workers saying that see actually my mother she she had to take co vaccine sorry uh, what is it covi shield because she had earlier taken covi shield and uh, i was asking them do they have covi shield and co vaccine and they told yes we have both then i told them okay let me uh, check once again what she had taken previously just want to be sure she has taken covid shield or covaxin so i was checking that and by the way while i'm checking that it's not that the place was vacant somebody else was getting vaccinated there so still the vaccination is going on after after he gets up then my mother has to go and sit that person old person behind is so impatient is he started telling the doctors you know sitting there were giving if you want to discuss you go aside go to the side and discuss this is not a place for discussion get the keep the injections going i was shocked i just turned back and i said sir there is no vacant place there you know they are still vaccinating you know when, when they get up i will go and my mother will go and sit and they, no no i am not talking to you i am talking to him <laughs> he told me you know, i am not talking to you i am talking to him i said if at 78 years old you have not developed patience and tolerance in you what could be your son and what could be your grandson i mean that is how we look at right a tree is known by its fruits right if you are like this how your children how you would have brought up your children and how your grandchildren are being brought up 
people should increase patience when they grow in age prabhuji i have one uh, grow with example. maturity grow with maturity right i mean there are thousands of examples like this but yeah sorry so we speak chandra chandra ah chandra prabhu hari krishna uh, one day while we while we are walking in the avatar so some somebody from uh, 10, 17th floor dropped one uh, ga- glass glass oh uh, bottle so oh we God. just uh, so two feet away from ours and then uh, that time the one old person every day morning 4 5 o'clock he will be walking with hare krishna tune uh uh-huh. i know i have seen him mm. i told him that somebody dropped the glass then he started uh, using very bad words and shouting uh, on those people and i felt uh, this old guy like i was not uh, using or scolding that person but this is a old person every day hearing hare krishna and he was scolding like anything very bad words then i was wondering like how this person old person is using so many bad words and scolding that person i i was not using it so <laughs> So probably, was, I, you know two answers to that two answers Ravji, we have so many legends like that in avatar <laughs> not no, no, one no, no, okay okay no no But let me let me also give a benefit of doubt you know is that see the old person might have led a life uh, you know like that for many many years right now he is trying to become krishna conscious at least he is hearing hari bhajan right i would still give him some marks because he is at least hearing hari bhajan yeah he may not have control he may not have gained control on his tongue yet but some day there is a hope na by hearing that some day there is a hope so it's okay you know i i i do agree that people practicing spiritual life should not behave like that but we all have a conditioning a past you know a past cannot be uh, unwritten in a single day right so it takes time krishna also says in bhagavad gita vishaya vinivartante nirarasya deena rasavarjam rasu apyasyo param drishta anivartate he says the taste for such things remain so people don't become completely uh, respectful and peaceful as soon as they start coming to satsangs right uh, so i'm i'm agreeing chandra prabhu that you know what it did is wrong he should not have done that he should not have first of all, you don't need to use but also understand that you know people come with a baggage you don't know where he was working what kind of a job that he was working in what kind of work environment he was working in and why those words were spontaneously coming to him but for one to change those words it takes some it takes a lot of time sometimes a lifetime sometimes you know uh, many many years of practice will make them uh, will make them come out of it is, is it okay chandra prabhu yeah but uh, i mean yeah, yeah. I was uh, trying to understand that example you told us so mm-hmm. he may be we don't know what is his background and he was impatient so i mean i'm trying to tell you like everyone is equally same so no you cannot say everyone is equally same because see uh, i mean they are also carrying same kind of a, uh, i mean karmas what they did and then uh, the way that their life they are carrying so we cannot say that this person is right or this person is wrong right so in that view we can say like no, he no. might be also reading a bhagavad gita in it is home we don't know yeah so here you are telling it workers we see this guy is hearing uh, some audio then we are trying to say that he is trying to perfect but that may be that person might be also doing something at home exactly yeah. exactly prabhu ji see what i am trying to tell you here is okay let me give an example let me give an example there are two people who are sick there are two people who are sick you know meaning uh, they are having fever or infection or something one person is taking medicine one person is not taking medicine so who is who is in a better situation person taking medicine or person not taking medicine it, it depends upon their mindset no i am asking a simple question you hmm. you are sick i am sick we both are sick okay right you are taking medicine i am not taking medicine who is in a better situation me or you obviously you you are taking medicine baba one mm-hmm. day one day you will get cured na yeah but one there is a natural uh, natural also so let's not get into immunity ayurveda and all i'm asking <laughs> simple question to you there are two people who are sick one mm-hmm. person is taking medicine one person is not taking medicine mm-hmm. who will get cured first yeah so instantly that person get cured no not instantly <laughs> let's not avoid instantly mm-hmm. you are going on extreme ends here i am telling a simple thing he is taking medicine 
Mm. So there is a hope that he'll get cured sooner than yes. the person who is not taking medicine, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Mm. So when I look at a person who is practicing spiritual life, he is any given day better than a person who is materialistic. Because someday he will get cured. At least he has started the process. He may not come to satsang, but is hearing Hari Bhajan. But what is the hope of a materialistic person? He doesn't even know that he is deceased, and he'll never get cured. You know what I'm saying? It's better to find a devotee who is struggling than a materialist who is enacting to be good. Right? There are so many materialistic people who they will do donations, they will do all kinds of uh, philanthropy outside. Within inside, they are filled with lust, filled with enjoying tendency. They will never surrender to God, never go to temple, never uh, serve anything to anyone. But you know, when it comes to philanthropy and all, they'll do. But there is another person who has some bad qualities, but is coming to spiritual life, is trying to correct himself. Who is better? Who is better? Who is better, Arjuna or Duryodhana? Yeah, Arjuna. Right? Why? Because he is with Krishna. Both are doing war. Arjuna is also killing people. Duryodhana is also killing people. Externally, both are doing the same thing. But one person is following Krishna. One person is against Krishna. Big difference. Right? So mm-hmm. when you see devotees struggling, Prabhuji and Mataji, you know, sometimes people come and ask me, Prabhuji is chanting for the last 30 years, still is behaving like that. So is it a problem with Hare Krishna mantra? Or is it a problem with him? Or is application of that mantra? Tell me. His association is... with the people. Exactly, his association with people. He is chanting Hare Krishna, but he is not associating with devotees as much. Medicine works. Medicine works provided you follow the prescription. Right? Medicine works provided you follow the prescription. Going to doctor doesn't cure you. Following doctor's advice cures you. Isn't it? (coughs) Same way, even people who come to spiritual life, Prabhuji, they have to follow the prescription. Like for example, I am encouraging everybody in the group, Prabhuji's chant 16 rounds. Get to 16 rounds minimum. Start with 1, start with 2, start with 4, go to 8, go to 10, come to 16. Right? At certain point of time in this satsang, after say 3 years, we started in 2020. In 2023, I am so sure some of you will be chanting 16 rounds. But some of you don't want to chant 16 rounds. Stubbornly, I will say, Ye must have chanting yeste. Chanting Cheshevala Atlane behave just another, Chenival Alana behave just another. Some of you will conclude like that. Tell me who will who will benefit in spiritual life? Who will develop the attitude of submissiveness and humbleness? The people who chant 16 rounds. Ultimately, I'm not saying the moment you chant 16 rounds, you'll become perfect. That's the beginning of your spiritual life. Meaning, two hours in a day, you're chanting God's names with a with a prayer that Krishna, there are so many impurities in me, remove them. Please remove me, remove these impurities. I want to become a good devotee. I want to, that is the consciousness of a person who's chanting 16 rounds. Biggest thing that he's doing is follow, following the order of Acharyas that 16 rounds have to be chanted. This much time has to be given. So already one correction is done. Is what? He's, he's starting to follow the orders of seniors. Already one correction is done. Earlier he was not even doing that. But now he's following the orders of seniors. So a spiritual person struggling is any given day better than a material person who never started anything spiritual. You should understand that. And instead of seeing faults in spiritual people, which we see, we very evidently will see, Prabhuji. If you live with me in my house for two days, you will not come to satsang. So many faults you'll see in me. <laughs> my wife knows what Prabhuji. am I. My I wife knows one. what am I. Right? Sorry. No, 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 sorry. Uh, you're, you're telling me something. Yeah, one more question. Huh. So, I mean, we, we, we will not watch every person uh, around us uh, that huh. we are interacting. Hmm. So what they are doing at home, we don't know. We don't know. So if, if some incident, if we have seen and hmm. see that this, I mean, find try to find some fault in his, Hmm. And we don't know without knowing what he is practicing. So if ah. we try to find fault with him, hmm. so is it a good or bad quality within us? It's a, it's a bad quality, Prabhuji. It's a, definitely a bad quality. But doesn't mean that we don't see fault only. We can't be blind also, right? 
we can't be blind also somebody is doing fault no no i will not see bad because it's bad <laughs> that is also not right right so prabhu you understand chandra prabhu and everybody and including me this applies to all of us we see bad qualities in others right doesn't mean that in 360 degree that person is like that we we can't conclude like that right in a certain instance to our knowledge he has behaved like that right you don't know what is going on in his life you don't know what other things are influencing him to behave in certain way right for example one one person you know he comes to a medical shop you both are there in the medical shop he comes and immediately shouts at the medical person give me the time medicine don't you understand you know we are standing here in the line can't you see you know that you have to give the medicine i have given the money how, how long will you make make me wait you know you have to give this now is he is he a bad person or a good person sometimes we instantly we feel that it's a bad it's a bad person but hmm. do you know that his mother is sitting in the car and she has to be immediately given some medicine and apparently the time is running away we don't know we don't know the circumstances in which a person is and do we know how he was brought up by his parents we don't know we don't know how he was brought up by his parents we don't know what kind of uh, other problems he is that person is facing in his life we don't know right so prabhu ji uh, what we as devotees should do let us let's talk about what we should do rather than you know going around this what we should do is when we see some bad quality in others when we see some bad act done by others immediately we should either try to control if the, if 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 you think you have a role to play there if you think the other person is ready you can say so just calm down you know things can be okay you know let's let's leave it here if if that person is willing to otherwise just keep calm and and leave from that place right and maybe when you meet that person again you see some good things in him he will or the best thing to do is bring such person to satsang or you be that satsang to that person right when you see some bad in others you can be that good uh, friend to that person in in correcting that person uh, instead of instead of you know gossiping about that person in 10 places i would rather help that person by uh, being his true friend right so this is one way of doing it see prabhupad gives a beautiful example of a house fly and a honey bee right so a house fly nature of a house fly is even if there is so many good things kept around it and something is rotten in between that house fly will first go and sit on the rotten thing it will not sit on anything good right that is the nature of a house fly it will go and find the filthiest thing whereas a honey bee bumblebee or honey bee even if there is gutter there is drainage going and there is one flower in the drainage it will go and pick that honey from that flower right so great people great people are those who want to see good in others and avoid the bad you know they want to ignore the bad they want to see that good every person does something good so you see that one good thing and then you fan that spark you know you fan that you encourage that person so you know uh, see for example uh, uh, this person who are you know uh, has behaved like that i'm just giving an example don't take it that person right so next time i meet him i'll say are you have such a great quality prabhu ji you know you hear bhajans every morning nobody else does that you have that best quality i think you are you are setting an example for everybody who is walking there that they should also hear hari bhajan amazing prabhu ji you know so when you I speak like that i'm surprised to hear such things about him prabhu ji because he was always so nice to, whenever he see me with a tilak he admires me so much and once he also saw me chanting i was just going for a walk and chanting even that day beta at this age what you are doing is really inspiration for a lot of people people like me doing all those things to me actually <laughs> so all i'm saying prabhuji and mathi ji is even among our satsang also for example among why to speak of outside people among our satsang also is is anyone perfect here by the way you know there is only one perfect person and that person is krishna <laughs> right he is the perfect perfect person are we all perfect here anybody i'm sure if some wife will lift the hand husband will say no <laughs> or the wife husband will lift the hand wife will say no <laughs> <laughs> right or chaitanya prabhu krishna you lift your hand your daughter will say no i know you <laughs> isn't it nobody is perfect 
nobody is but nobody can be perfect and nobody uh, do we want to be perfect yes we all want to be perfect that is there but we are all struggling we are all struggling some anarthas are externally ex- externally seen some anarthas are uh, externally not visible but you are struggling with it you know uh, one devotee he came to me i know him for many years and he was coming to satsang for many years and he came to me and he told something that he would never discuss anybody he said prabhu ji i'm struggling with um, seeing some bad things in internet i'm i'm struggling with that i can't overcome it please help me you know and and then i told okay prabhu you have to practice you know uh, doing some other activities and some positive activities and now you tell me should i throw him outside the satsang because he has those bad thoughts or should he be in the satsang so he gets out of it what do you do now yeah, should encourage him to get out encourage of him it. yeah you should encourage him yeah, everybody everybody has so many things prabhu ji when we close the you know outside your hari bol prabhu dandat pranam hari krishna anta bane untadi when you close that door and put that knob you are a ravanasura in the house who knows <laughs> right you can be somebody else, but how does that ravanasura become ram how does that ravanasura become ram he will become ram when he spends time with hanuman <laughs> spend more time with hanuman then he will get the qualities of ram qualities of hanuman isn't it so everybody needs help in fact our satsang is a hospital where all patients have come we are all patients icu patients we all have diseased so we want to be coming out of the disease nobody is perfect here right in a hospital we don't shout at patients we encourage patients to come please come please come please come here is a medicine hari nam hari krishna hari krishna please come please come so if you are seeing faults if you are seeing some devotees going through some struggles we should just support them encourage them and and be part of their journey to become a better person and then that is the goal of satsang right there is a goal of satsang uh, goal of satsang is not to uh, find faults within our own self and then say that you know you don't, that's exactly what brahmanas did that's exactly what brahmanas did and that is the reason the whole caste system the almost so much division in society happened because brahmanas started rejecting others instead of correcting them right uh, how atheists are born nobody is atheist by nature everybody is a theist everybody is a devotee but when the when the theists behave in such a fanatical way with atheists then they become atheists the brahmana says you know don't sit like this don't touch me don't do this don't do that don't. he will say abba bane udra babu nu nu nen rane ran i will not come to you so if i come to you he will say no 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 better than that i will not come to you a lot of people rejected religion because there are too many don'ts and do's isn't it too many don'ts don't 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 okay uh, prabhu ji you also tell no onion garlic you also tell no non vegetarian okay baba no problem eat but come to satsang right you can do what you are doing but come to satsang when you come to satsang there is a hope that some day you will leave it but if you don't come to satsang what is the hope right so we have to understand the nature of people and the same principles even work at office prabhuji not that satsang is like that even in office you can we can't keep rejecting people we can't keep removing people we can't keep sacking people we have to revive people don't revive don't remove people revive people if they are not fit for a certain role put them into some other role uh, as long as uh, they are properly trained on integrity and uh, hard work you should retain them but these days people are too impatient even at workplace i don't like this person get rid of him right why to speak of even married relationships ha huh. love at first sight divorce at first fight finish first fight i don't want to see your face khatam i over let's sign the divorce papers people you know get divorced for silly reasons for no reason you know you press the toothpaste from the top i press from bottom divorce <laughs> toothpaste you know from where to press that's a difference i'll not you don't like eating ice cream i like eating ice cream divorce you know no reason see once one uh, i'll give an example 
one very wealthy family used to come to satsang once you know uh, in in our satsang now also they are favorable they some they are little busy now so they are not coming so their daughter uh, was getting married so this mataji told me speak to my daughter prabhu ji uh, you know before her marriages guide her something like that she told and daughter was also good kind of a friend you know uh, so she came to me and she sat and me and my wife were sitting and she sat there and she was like okay prabhu ji i'm getting married and please come to the marriage you know uh, the boy is like this i asked her one simple question amma if you are if your husband is going to shout at you or one day he'll become impatient and slap you what are you going to do what are you going to do she made a reaction how can you do that prabhu ji that's abuse you know i'm i'm not going to tolerate all this then i told her you better don't get married better don't get married i'm not telling that it's a license for the husband to behave like that i'm not saying that and if a, if a wife also abuses the husband he should also learn tolerance he should understand we are people we have to correct each other we have to live with each other we have to make each other work right because we are not coming from good backgrounds you have to develop patience you have to develop forgiveness you have to develop some amount of humbleness and then relationships will work you don't say sorry because the opposite person is wrong or you are right you don't say sorry you don't say sorry because the opposite person is uh, right and you are wrong you say sorry because you care for the opposite person you just care for the opposite person so you say sorry it's not a question of whether you are right or wrong i'm sorry i'm sorry so that you care for the opposite person and to make things work this is what should be taught to children if they, if you're not taught these things then forget about devotion devotion is very high principle you can't even maintain your material life properly right and it is not being told in my own relatives you know i mean there are hundreds of examples i'll i'll stop with this my own relatives one girl she got one very wealthy family reddies you know some very wealthy family he has like crores and crores of properties i am talking 20 years back incident 20 years back sometime in 98 or 97 something like that now his daughter he married her to a uh, some employee in uh, uk that person works in uh, uk in london and he married his daughter he has two daughters he married her to him and uh, she is brought up very you know in in big wealth she was brought up the daughter she went there she got married to him and her husband you know after a few months of marriage he told her that you know i i don't think i want to do job you know i don't think i want to do job why don't we start a business why don't we start some you know uh, uh, business of our own Uh, anyway your father has so much influence and there is some investment also your father can do why don't you ask your father to invest and we will start some business that's all he told immediately what did the girl say so you married me because of my wealth huh? you married me because my father has money and now you are telling me to get that money from my father and she immediately calls her father and tells that this fellow is asking money from me what kind of person have you married me to this is absolutely not acceptable even immediately what did his father do what did her father do odle leave that fellow and come back this is nonsense you know uh, we don't have to you don't have to live with a person who is asking for money from you come come home i'll take care of you your father can take care of you throughout your life that girl is sitting in the house even after 20 years with that arrogance frustrated in life right her father is very old now almost ready to get passed away complete life ruined right that 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 boy he got remarried again he got remarried he went on with his life but what did arrogance do what did arrogance do here tell me hmm? is the father telling the child when getting married that you know amma if you get even one bit of discomfort in your in-laws you tell me i'll come and take you don't need to be married if you send your daughter like that to another house you think the marriage will last huh how many feel here marriage will last if you tell your daughter like that 
or you go and tell your son if she misbehaves with you immediately leave her will the marriage last no it will not last we have to develop patience we have to make things work that is what is a relationship nothing will come you know ready made to you right even after 20 years of marriage me and my wife have so many fights and arguments and so many thing but we have still make it work for a higher cause for children for god you should make it work this has to be taught to the society this has to be taught to the children you can keep seeing faults in others but also see some good na you can also see some good right that father could have understood that my son in law wants to do something different why don't i talk to him he could have spoken to his son in law saying em babu you want cheddam antnu business antnu you know what are what do you mean what do you want let us discuss no discussion the daughter told this fellow said no that she came back from their divorce finish that that boy said family you know we knew through some context that boy was little i didn't tell anything i just told you know let us try something and immediately she got so angry and it went into a different direction sometimes when when you're angry you say things more and more and more and more and actually it it turns out to be completely different from where it started isn't it sometimes you know when you're angry you say one thing he says one thing another thing another thing, it just grows up so that's what happened and what is the result of that one good marriage got reunited and uh, her life is nowhere uh, now she might feel you know oh, i am independent i am still going in my audis and mercedes benz but when she comes to her 50s and 60s she needs a companion what will she do where will she go her father will die in another four five years her father will die mother will also die her sister is nicely settled she will be in a certain place and and she will get a heart stroke she will get a brain stroke who will take care of her who will support her in that situation right people don't think all these things these days you know they are like i want immediate comfort immediate this thing <laughs> you know so prabhu ji and mataji what i want to uh, we can conclude this here you know what i want to tell here is becoming spiritual devotee is a very high thing first we should become a good human being right start somewhere but that is possible also only when we are associating with good people good devotees we should associate we should we should get into some services always find services which will keep both of you busy husband and wife totally are busy in that service then none of these things will matter small small differences nothing will matter right you are busy you are busy in something higher you know like uh, you know we were discussing about developing that place right in front of avatar and that maheshwar prabhu is handling it's a good thing we all should get engaged into that we all should put our effort focus is there so tomorrow wife and husband are arguing yen danni meer ela tarvata maatadadam let's go there and first finish the dinner work <laughs> so you are just you know you are busy you are ignoring unnecessary things you know useless things you are keeping it aside you are busy when you are busy half the trouble is taken care when you are not busy empty empty mind is what is it empty brain is devil's workshop <laughs> isn't it devil's workshop you should have some something to be engaged positive engagement is important rather than commenting on negative right so we can find so many faults so is is it okay padma mata ji chandra prabhu and everybody else are we okay yes prabhu ji yes prabhu ji sorry if i spoke anything wrong please you know don't forgive me Oh, it's a sensitive topic i myself have so many things <laughs> if you walk with me two rounds around avatar third round you will not come <laughs> hari krishna so so how many of you are charged up to build a big um, radha krishna and sitaram hanuman temple opposite avatar come on are you all charged up yes see so this is so this is this is called positive engagement right we have land will build a big temple you know hanuman temple ram temple sitaram lakshman sita you know radha krishna nicely we'll have satsangs we'll have our remaining rest of the life will go around uh, you know making and uh, happily serving krishna that's it that is how we should plan our life a little little things we should work according to our nature we need a manager also we need a administrator also we need a, a executor also <laughs> different roles are there we need somebody to talk also we need somebody to you know serve also right 
Hare so like how we did for uh, Ram Mandir, we can go and knock every door and collect money from them. Yes. At least we yes. get ten rupees, twenty rupees, hundred rupees. Also, Hare, Hare Mataji, Mataji, I'm telling you, when you inspire people, you get more than what you ask. Yes, Prabhuji. That. That, that's always the principle I've seen, right? What we should do, we should that serve. Sure. We should serve people in that place, any place. Right? We should conduct so many programs and distribute nice prasadam. that people will run and come to that place every morning they'll run and come to that place and they will come and pour saying that take it you know please use it we should not ask a single penny when you ask you only get what you ask isn't it but when you leave people motivate them and leave them to give people's hearts will come out i'll tell you one example in houston in in houston uh, so there was this prabhu ji you know one one person he used to come for mangal aarti every day he was a doctor he was a doctor indian person in houston texas he was a doctor and he was coming for mangal aarti every day after that he never spoke to any devotees you know he would just attend mangal aarti maybe chant few rounds and go to his hospital that's all people knew about him and like that he did for 10 years 10 years he was coming every day mangal aarti 4:35 o'clock in the morning he used to come and then he used to go uh, chant few rounds and then he used to vanish festival time other time he was very busy you know he was a doctor he never came much and but every time he met devotees he used to tell oh you people are doing very good service that's all he used to tell you people are doing very good service provision mataji is unfortunately krishna took him one day he he left his body lawyer comes to the temple and he says some yeah a lawyer came to the temple after he died his and he read his will he left 10 million dollars for the temple can you believe it 10 million dollars nobody asked him a penny nobody asked him a penny he used to come there was a small temple small iskon temple hari krishna temple in houston they always had a dream we should have a big temple right but it's it takes time to build that kind of money and that kind of see how krishna planned see what this devotee did he used to come attend mangal aarti chant few rounds and go and apparently he he did not have anybody in life he got divorced or never married nobody knows right whatever he earned 10 million dollars worth properties right he just wrote in the name of temple and he never told anybody never told anybody and he died you know out of some thing you know untimely he died and this money came now iskon houston temple is one of the biggest temple in entire america every single penny was kept into developing the temple and huge place they bought land in between the city and huge temple they built and what a memorial right there was one i'll tell you one more example in pune in pune one gentleman he was serving uh, uh, venkateshwar swami deity he had a venkateshwar swami murti in his house shri vaishnava and he was serving for a lot of yeah usha mata ji has gone to iskon houston <laughs> she is writing a chat there right yeah so you know uh, one uh, so this person in pune he was serving um, he was serving a deity in his house and he became very old and and i don't know the full story completely but i i'll tell what is what i heard maybe it, it needs more explanation but this person he was getting worried that who will take care of my deity after i die maybe his children were not as motivated to serve lord venkateshwar swami or whatever it is right he was just getting worried who will take care of my deity uh, you know this deity was established or there for many uh, you know uh, long long time but who will take care of my deity but he was in touch with he was in touch with uh, some devotees hari krishna devotees they were coming to his house doing some bhajan he used to go and participate so he got to know somehow he got in touch with them and he never told these devotees anything he never told you know about his anxiety about the deity and all that but he wrote a will and and after he died you know i mean sorry uh, i don't know after or before i might be wrong on the story but basically what he did he gave a land around 5 6 acres of land in pune and he gave the dt saying that please take care of this dt i am giving you this land also 
and rajesham prabhu you know rajesham prabhu right the one who distributes uh, bhagavatam and he comes and he speaks wonderful devotee he raised how much money can you can you believe your ears 100 crores he raised 100 crores money and a amazing temple nycc iskon temple is the biggest iskon temple in entire india after mayapur huge temple and 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 there is a beautiful venkatesh swami temple right attached to the temple you take radha krishna darshan and then you go and take venkatesh swami temple the dt is being served seven times bhoga and amazing worship and so many things happened on that land and now that area the prices have gone up like unbelievable you know people have bought houses around it there is a huge devotee community around the around the temple more than 3000 devotee families live around the temple can you believe it 3000 it's like it's like vaikuntha called in, in pune 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 has two temples radha vrindavan chandra temple radha kunjvihari temple kunjvihari temple is old and old temple that's a beautiful temple and this one nycc vedic culture you know provision madhi you will be surprised 25000 youth 25000 youth every single year are trained in the temple youth engineers doctors they are becoming devotees at a very young age none of them smoke none of them drink everybody learns bhagavad gita end to end and they also are iitians they are also successful in their uh, and one such person is uh, krishna sundar prabhu remember he comes to our satsang with his wife in dhoti you see in that young couple recently they started coming yes. where do you yes. think he got trained in iit chennai he also attended those camps he became a devotee and now he is a nice grahastha right he works in bank of america he chants 16 rounds he is initiated me and he have the same guru radhanath swami maharaj right see what one person could do he just gave land he said take this land develop it right so provision math ji is we all can do a lot you know provided we have a higher goal and krishna will do the remaining krishna will we don't think that we can do something krishna can do a lot of things first thing what we should do is we should serve people there you know we should serve people there meaning conduct programs nice preaching programs nice kirtan programs let people come we don't want to go and ask money asking money is the cheapest thing to do because then people say ah you will ochara ochara chanda kosam ochara donation no don't ask money do service do service six months only serve one year only serve then you see what will happen miracles will happen people will come and pour their heart they'll give we want to do something here you know so much service is happening then the temple will come up see building big temples is not a big thing maintaining them is the biggest thing maintaining them is the biggest thing right and maintaining how regular activities motivational programs transformatory programs have to happen there that is the most important thing for that we need a community right you are the pioneers of that community right now right and you will go and inspire another 100 people in the next 5 years this satsang will be 200 people 300 people and i will not be the only person speaking you all will also have to speak have to encourage more and more right and then that is the pillar for big big temples then temples will come huge humongous temples will come so we have to see positive and we have to encourage that positive and we can't afford to see negative in each other we can't afford to uh one of the greatest thing that you have to learn is swayam krishna krishna when he comes as jagannath we did jagannath rath yatra remember we did jagannath rath yatra why jagannath's eyes are so big does anyone know why jagannath's eyes are so big because there is a past time of krishna why his eyes are so big but what do they signify why why jagannath's eyes are so big anybody out of happiness Yes, out of mesmerizing. happiness. Mesmerizing. His own past times. Yes, mesmerizing his own past times. One very important thing, Professor Madhav. Never forget this. Jagannath is so merciful that he doesn't want to miss a single chance of seeing anything good anyone does. 
anything good even small good thing somebody does he doesn't want to miss so he keeps his eyes like this he's searching anybody doing anything good i want to see and the moment any anybody does anything wrong immediately close his eyes i don't want to see anything bad i want to see only good <clears throat> that is why is the most jagannath swami nayana patagami nayana patagami bhava tume what does it mean oh merciful lord please glance that merciful glance on me i am fallen i am struggling in this material world give a glance look at me and look at me and deliver me there is no other hope otherwise there is no other hope right so seeing good in others doesn't happen overnight prabhu and mathur ji it doesn't happen overnight you can't just see good in others you will first see bad only <laughs> because we have been seeing bad for so many lives so many lives we have been seeing bad we will see bad but what are you going to do after seeing that is your choice you are going to abuse comment or uh, do something bad to that person or you are going to encourage that person to become good that's in your hands and the most difficult thing to do is do it in your own house <laughs> outside you can be karunamayi <laughs> but inside your own house when you do it then you, then you then krishna will be really happy with you right when your husband does something wrong wife does something wrong child does something wrong you tolerate it patiently accept it and then you um, when you practice it <laughs> bhagavad gita is krishna is saying we just read the verses act according to your nature right uh, ultimately to get that spiritual nature uh, we all have to be sincere in our sadhana we all have to be sincere and we all have to help each other right we all have to help each other lot has to be done pros and mathujis and these gated communities that we are living in we'll stop today's class i wanted to finish third chapter but it's okay we'll finish next week this gated provijis and mathujis gachipoli telapur madapur this pupalaguda narsingi whatever you call these areas the most rich people in the communities are coming to these areas how many agree with this right lot of lot of people are coming to these areas right in another 5 6 years you will see the whole rich class of the city from even from banjarail some people are coming this side you know they want to buy villas and they want to buy big flats and all that now the remaining city is going to see this city and get influenced is that right or wrong they'll get influenced so we are going to be the leaders we are going to be the leaders of this place leader means somebody who influences others so we should develop good leaders that is our responsibility why we are preaching bhagavad gita in gachipoli madapur because if 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 people here become god conscious then automatically those people will become god conscious if people here start becoming uh, you know knowledgeable in bhagavad gita then people there will also become knowledgeable in bhagavad gita we all have a role to play trust me we all have a role to play if somebody is an entrepreneur here somebody is an employee here somebody is a director here somebody is so many roles you are playing somebody is a good housewife somebody is a working housewife every role we all will have to do our role to create good leaders in this society in this part of hyderabad so that we can influence the entire hyderabad right prabhupad went to america he chose the capital of materialism <laughs> he chose the capital of materialism he went there and in america he went to new york city which is like the capital of you know i'll say all kinds of filthy activities and from there he started his con movement and what did that do that brought krishna consciousness throughout the world there are more than 1000 temples around the world thousand temples around the world but did prabhupad see bad in those people if you hear the incidents of prabhupad na what he went through in the beginning days please buy this book uh, you know prabhupad lilamrita just buy that book you will be shocked to see what people is people is to come and throw things on prabhupad when he is giving a lecture people is to come naked into his class do you know that 
naked they'll come without clothes and they'll come and stand like this in front of prabhupad people used to do all kinds of nonsense shout at prabhupad when he's giving a lecture people used to not listen to him just see here and there do all kinds of things but prabhupad never stopped his preaching and he never stopped serving them <coughs> how did he preach them he used to cook for them he used to make gulab jamun for them a 70 year old person cooking for 100 people every sunday evening 100 people a 70 year old person in a city where he doesn't even know where to buy groceries in a place where he did not even have a single penny not a single money he had proper he would starve to keep some money aside from donations so he can make good prasadam for outsiders that is proper and that sacrifices has built a great society today around the world right so only through service we can change this world and we need good leaders and uh, you all are those leaders we all can be those leaders but leaders with a humble servant leaders we don't want to be a leader with servants we want to be a servant leader servant leader concept is so popular now even in uh, corporate circles how to be a servant leader meaning lead with example by serving others right so i'll stop it here you know i know the topic went in different directions i i don't know which verse did i stop yeah i stopped it okay so arjuna vacha okay different uh, yeah so this is a good section to get into next week here lord here, beautiful you know uh, oh my god see the question here arjuna said oh descendant of rishni by what one is impelled to do sinful acts even unwillingly if engaged by force as if engaged by force <laughs> So Arjuna is asking the same question. Even though one person is practicing spiritual life, why is he doing some bad things? As if somebody is pushing him by force. Right? So let's hear the answer next week. Exactly apt to what we are discussing. Arjuna has asked the question. Right? So we'll discuss next week. So any questions, comments, Prabhuji? I know I spoke a lot of things. Uh, there are many elders in the call, much more knowledgeable and mature than me. Please uh, share what you have to say. Ramesh Prabhu, Raghavan Prabhu, Banu Prabhu, Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Maheshwar Prabhu, Chandra Prabhu, Yogesh Prabhu Ji. Yeah, I'm good Prabhu. Uh, I have put one question. <laughs> Oh, you put a one question. Sorry. Uh, Prabhuji, I have one question on regulatory eating. During satsang, we forcefully serve devotees to eat more. <laughs> yes, that's the right thing. Yes, yes. We should not do that. Ideally, we should not do that. Uh, we should not make them eat more. But let me also ask you, how many places are we being served? Huh? Wherever we go, we have to pick up our own thing and eat. The culture of serving is completely gone. But at least in satsang, we are learning how to serve people. Get up and serve. Prabhuji, please go and Mataji, please go and Serving. So it's a good thing. Encourage them. Eat a little more, but encourage them to serve. <laughs> okay, one meal and then next meal you can skip. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying eating more is good. Even I am correcting my weight now. You know, I'm being eating a lot, <laughs> too many satsangs. But uh, yes. So only <laughs> thing is, uh, I mean, uh, so eating prasadam is good, but mm. at the same way, if we control and give, like who, who are want, how much they want to eat, instead mm. of forcing, yes. so it, it benefits both the ways. So they are eating prasadam, yes. in the same way they are controlling their diet also. Yes. And they have a healthy, healthy, healthy also. So Correct. that's the only thing that I was just Yes, yes, to right. Absolutely right. Food. Absolutely right. Absolutely right, Prabhuji. Some people, uh, I mean, they feel like uh, shy and they take whatever they are, uh, I mean, somebody is serving. So, uh, but after eating, they feel bad that I ate so much. Hare so that's, that's the only reason few people, they cannot say that they cannot say, no, I don't want. No, sometimes you have to say no. Sometimes you have to say no. It's not like the opposite person wouldn't listen. So the opposite person wants to give, you know, especially when you're hosting a satsang, Prabhuji, please, you know, at my home, eat more. The tendency is there out of love and out of, you know, seva bhav. Uh, but sometimes you can tell no, 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 Prabhuji, please try to understand. I'm not feeling well or I cannot eat more than this. You can say that. 
we can nothing wrong in saying it also and sometimes out of shyness if you can't say then just fold the plate quickly as quickly as you can <laughs> and uh, wasting prasadam is also not good absolutely not good I've never waste prasadam many people wasting it so you should that's not the reason it. i am asking this question like if you forcefully serve it and people mm. don't eat and then they simply they throw it yeah that's a good point never waste it don't serve excess so the wastage doesn't happen in fact uh, if you can't eat just take it home you can eat after some time right and uh, if there is more pressure than left we can give it to so many people who are looking for food you know uh, in fact you won't believe you know uh, the security guards even now in krishi where we came every time my car goes by they expect when will this fellow stop and give pressure them <laughs> because we have so continuous such things are happening you know and i'm giving them pressure them so poor you know they, they are really actually security guards they have very very difficult life so when we give them something it's a very good thing we are doing the salaries are low no time to properly cook no time to properly eat untimely life night time night shifts give them good prashadam they will be very grateful yeah there are so many things prabhu ji that we can uh, like last week i was saying right we can get rid of the uh, the plastic plates and come towards steel plates we can do it you know uh, at least some more less burden to the planet by stopping those uh, you know plastic plastic glasses uh, get rid of it prabhu ji you won't believe so i bought this box uh, few i um, mean few weeks ago i was getting this box in my bag and i was not opening for 2 3 weeks and my wife used to tell me like everybody look at you you are you are bringing your own box then i was keeping inside it so one day then i i thought okay i need to open it then only <laughs> open it <laughs> absolutely fine absolutely fine a lot of people do that not only you i have seen in uh, in new rindavan one temple in america where some devotees bring their own plate mm-hmm. from home they just bring their own plate yeah but uh, there it is good like here uh, um i mean people look at <laughs> in a different way so <laughs> okay let them look at when i walk with dhoti and kurta so many people look at me like a alien yeah but after that i realized <laughs> at one point i have to do it so yeah. i started using this. yeah yeah there is nothing there is absolutely nothing wrong in walking there. see when sometimes i'm just telling right when there is dhoti and kurta and i go outside the other day i went to supermarket you know one lady started looking at me like this as if i'm an alien i also looked at her like this as she they <laughs> <Big deal. laughs> yeah people they do what they do you know we have to do what we have to do you know They're like cool about it you're doing the right thing you're doing the right thing as simple as that you're not being disrespectful you're yeah. not being disrespectful you're being respectfully you're bringing your dabba you're eating in that and you're taking what is left to your home if you're setting an example and that might inspire somebody else to bring his own dabba or maybe buy 50 dabbas for everybody in the satsang <laughs> <laughs> are krishna okay are krishna so we'll end with the nursing aarti let's remember narsimha dev who will bless us in our uh, spiritual life and uh, make us you know progress in spiritual life uh, not seeing faults in each other but as rather encouraging each other to do the right things Hare Krishna. So who wants to sing? Narsing Arthi? Prabhuji. Prabhuji. Aditri wants to sing. Ah, yes, yes. Go ahead. Hari Bol. So you have the Narsing Arthi words in front of you or you want me to put it? Uh, can you share it? Okay. So next week I'm not going to share it. I want you to buy Arthi. <laughs> okay. One minute, one minute, one minute. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, can you? S- no, not yet, right? Okay, I have to share my screen. Wait a second. I'll share my screen. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Prahlad Lad Dayene Prahlad Lad Dayene 
ಸಿಂಹೋ ಪರತೋ ನರಸಿಂಹೋ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ತವ ಕರ ಕಮಲ ವರೇ ನ ಕಾಂ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಶೃಂಗಾ ಲಲಿತ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಿಪು ತನು ಬೃಂಗಾ ಕೇಶವ ಚಿಂತ ನರ ಹರಿ ರೂಪ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೇ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೇ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೇ ಶಿಪುಂಗ ಕೇಶವೃತ ನರ ಹರಿ ರೂಪ ಜೈ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ಜಯ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ಜಯ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ಜಯ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ್ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಪಾದ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ್ 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ್ 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಘ್ನ ನಾಶಿಕ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಘ್ನ ನಾಶಿಕ ನರಸಿಂಹ ದೇವ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಭಕ್ತ ಶಿರೋಮಣಿ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಿತಾಯಿ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರೇಮಾನಂದೇ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಸೊ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರವಚನ್ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಸೊ ಫೆಬ್ರವರಿ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೆಡಿ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ what is what is so special on february 14th lovers day avatar amphitheater anniversary really it was on february 14th yeah. think so and the valentines not valentines nobody cares about valentines rojan mataji february 14th is one of chinajir swami maharaj is installing the 1000th anniversary of ramanuja charya statue right dt uh not such a dt right so once again there is a lot of background and i have to yeah 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 so it's february 14th is special because uh that's the appearance day of shri ramanujacharya and it is also uh 1000th appearance day and it is also the appearance day of nityananda prabhu you know who is swayam balaram in gornitai we said lord krishna and balaram nityanand prabhu is also the appearance day balaram's appearance day and ram anuja right ram anuja is another balaram or lakshman the same thing right 
So, and uh, it also is almost one year of we starting the amphitheater satsang. I think we started around Feb, you know, Feb 7th or 8th, something like that. But we can mark it like that. <laughs> it's okay, good reason to. And uh, what else? Something else also was special. I'm forgetting that. Something else also was there. Anyway, when I remember it. So next uh, coming, let's get prepared for that. You know, I don't know if you all have contributed whatever you can or encouraged others to contribute for the big event that's happening. It's a very big day for all the Sanatan Dharma followers. It's a very big day, you know, where in this country where Sanatan Dharma was established, a great Acharya, his only Chinajir Swami Maharaj, is opening a big, massive temple with all the Divya Deshams and uh, such a big uh, event. We should promote it. We should promote it. You know, we should encourage everybody to go. And if if you cannot go on that very same day, it is, it's an event not of one day. I think it's an event of three days. You can go on one of the days and uh, spread the videos, make them viral, let the whole world know what is happening in Vaishnava community and everything else that we are doing. Today, media is a tool and it's also a, a great uh, you know, weapon, so to say, to bring the right change in the society, right medium, if the weapon is not the right word, right? So let's use it and let's do it. And uh, there are some brochures also sent. I think Prabhuji is holding one, Banu Prabhu is holding one brochure. So yes, you know, that brochure you would have got. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Prabhuji, you can share the soft copy in the group. Yeah. And once again, share. I think it's already shared, but you can share once again. So anybody, whatever little you can do, please do. These events don't happen uh, many times in life. Right? These are once in a lifetime kind of events. The murti that is established, that is going to be established, is going to stay for thousands of years. Right? And we are those rare people who are going to witness its installation, isn't it? Our generation is rare, you know, that we are going to witness something like this. And many more are going to come like this in India because now we have the right leaders, we have the right consciousness, and India is reviving itself for, for what, it, what it was. Right? So, let us do this in a big way and also celebrate Lord Nityananda Prabhu's uh, appearance day. I'm going to discuss on that day, if possible, if we have time, or the previous Sunday about who is Lord Nityananda Prabhu, about Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu. We have not heard much about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, many in the group. We will start discussing that on the special days so you all can learn. So thank you very much. Please attend next satsang. Nitai Gaur Premanande. Hari Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Hare. Vancha Kalpatru Bhishak Ripas in the Evacha, Patitanam Pavane Bhyo, Vaishnava Bhyo, Namonam, Ananta Koti Vaishnava in the key. Jai. Have a great rest of the Sunday. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu.